everyone. Welcome back. My name is Mo Master. We're back on Ignomatica 6. Um, and yeah, I finally went mining, or I did a little bit of mining, I should say. Not a whole lot still, but just enough to get us going. And uh, yeah, we got the bread maker working. Uh, so it's crafting up some bread right now and dropping it down. And we have a magnet that's picking it up. I put a filter on here. And it's just filtering for wheat dough and blacklisting it, so it's only picking up everything that's not wheat dough. Um, I, ideally, I want to use a tag system with that, but I didn't bother setting up ex additional tags at the moment. Um, I probably will eventually, but for right now, I just kind of left it as is. Because uh, really, I just want to get the bread going, so that's a good thing. Right, so I uh, did a little extra mining. And on our mining trip, what we did is we ended up finding a few more diamonds. And what this means for us is because the last time we used the quarry, we had some obsidian. And I've gotten plenty of books as well. Uh, I have 14 levels on me. And we should have some lapis right around here somewhere. I think we're ready to start working on uh, some stuff. Mainly basic enchanting, uh, because pedestals just get more powerful with enchanting. Um, even at low levels of enchanting, they're still pretty good. So what I'm thinking is we're going to throw, you know, I'm going to move my bed. Let's do one, two, three, four. That's decent. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll throw some enchanting here. I know we're using apotheosis technically for enchanting. Not a huge deal. Olive. Um, okay, let's do that and that. And then I'll do that, and then we'll do a little spready spread. And we'll do that. And we have a bunch of bookshelves. And because this is a, just a regular vanilla setup, I should be able to do this. Boom. And that will give us, oh, up to 26. No, oh, hello. That's actually quite nice if I had 26 levels. Uh, but no, we don't have 26 levels. Instead, we're going to go grab a few upgrades here. Uh, so I want to grab the crusher. I want to grab the furnace here. Uh, my, the droppers I won't grab quite yet. Uh, I'm fine with them dropping one item at a time. Um, I will, however, try to knock down down our levels just a little bit. Do I have charcoal or coal somewhere? I do. Let's see if we can't get a little bit smaller. Capacity 2 is awesome. Speed 2 is also really nice there too. Um, because that will now work a few times faster and Eight items at once. Um, I'm not going to say no. Oh, come on. Ah, that's that's disappointing. Honestly, though, the Crusher is probably the one that we care to speed up most. Just because we do have a, a secondary option for smelting. So that's nice. So now we can crush way more things way faster. Um, you know what? Let's see if I can't upgrade this other Crusher as well. Nothing wrong with trying to upgrade them all. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hold on here. Let me make a grindstone real quick. We've only made two grindstones so far in this series. Let's just keep making them. If I have the material. Should be good. Grindstone. Do, 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 do. Grindstone. Nice. Um, furnace. You know, I was going to be satisfied with speed 2, but I saw that capacity in there. I couldn't say no. I'd rather have capacity. Uh, speed capacity combined is a nice bonus, but uh, that's even better. Speed 2 for 9 levels. If I add another torch, what will that give me? Speed 1 for 6. Capacity 1 for 8. That's not horrible that'll do 
that will do just fine. It will speed up our, our processing just a little bit. Our crafter will still be crafting at normal speed, but um, that's fine. Um, with this able to process more. See, this is slower than this. This operates once per second and only has one recipe to worry about. So it will actually end up keeping up because I think this takes like five or ten seconds by default. Ooh. All ah, right, I forget our uh, our our resident Killy boy is uh, distracted by the wandering trader right now. I just hope you're not messing up my farm. That's all. Okay, so there we go. We now have an enchanting setup, which is awesome. Uh, we won't really do much else with the enchanting outside of just the basic junk right now, uh, and that's mainly just because uh, I don't have bottles of experience to start doing pedestals and chaining already um getting those is troublesome early on um mainly because there's that recipe not ideal but i mean we could theoretically do that um if i made a centrifuge which i have the iron for we could potentially do that I just don't have the RF um, so not ideal that no nope. that I mean if I had wait what what wait What? I thought RGB was for color. It gives experience bottles? What? No. No, that can't be. Can it? You dumbass. <laughs> oh, okay. So... Okay, this requires 5, 6, 7, 10 iron, 11 iron to make. Okay. This requires 8 iron, 8 iron? Oops, what did I do? This requires eight iron. Might as well not waste the iron and just go full centrifuge. Like, yeah, it uses ten. But otherwise you're just wasting iron making the non-manual one. We do need a generator of some sort, which I'm not horribly concerned with because I could just do that with pedestals easy enough. Um... Ooh, what's that? Artifacts. That's cool. Okay, this I thought was going to be way harder, but because we already have the RGB combs, uh, the beehive that we're harvesting from over here, that one has RGB bees in it already. So I already have the combs somewhere. Like there. I should have more comb. There. So I already have the RGB honeycombs. Wow, I I did not expect to be able to make that so early on. <laughs> okay, um, right, centrifuge, pistons, and smooth stone, huh? Luckily, stone is easy to get a hold of because that converts into that, which converts into that very easily, and then I can just do that. And before you know it, we have a smooth stone. Like so. Uh, I probably should put my bed back down.
Okay, well, um, <laughs> okay, enchanting is going to be a thing here shortly. Um, right, so, unless you need the runes too. Hold on, let me just use on that. Centrifuge. No, it just says you get... Wow. I'm actually impressed by the fact that you get straight up bottles of enchanting from this. It's super early game, like, what? Oh, that's... <laughs> God, I thought... I thought this other recipe was kind of broken... Because normally you'd have to find a, a wandering trader that sells it or go to a village, get a cleric leveled up to the max level, and it might sell you bottles of enchanting for emeralds. But this is, these things are everywhere. These RGBs are just everywhere by default. So that's broken in a way? Okay, um, right. Enough BS and let's centrifuge this shit. Uh, boom. Got the wood. Need the redstone. Got the iron. Centrifuge time. Okay, so we have this. So I might put this back here. I said we're going to do storage this episode, and we're not, because of uh, other reasons. Okay, we do require some RF power. We have a few options uh, for generators. We have pedestals. It's slow, super slow early on, but passive. Um, and not all that hard to make. Uh, it's just um, a furnace with a hopper and a redstone block. Easy. And we can buffer power. Easy enough. Our next easiest might be the pitiful generator. Um, it uses aluminum. That's kind of nice. That might be better than iron. Because iron I want to kind of keep as much of as I can. But honestly, this is the easiest by far. Four of those, two of those, and two of those. Coal generator. Easy, easy, easy to do. Uh, and probably the one I'm going to go with. Ooh, that's expensive. Uh, Furnator? That doesn't look fun to do either. Magmator? Nope, that doesn't look fun either. My other favorite is the... What? Interesting. Regular honey bottles or all honey bottles? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Solar panels. Nope. No, thank you. Solar panel? Nope, that doesn't look, not look fun either. Where's the... Oh, there you are. The heat generator. Uh, copper, osmium, a little bit of iron, furnace. Not bad. Uh, cheaper than pedestals to make and actually produces more power overall uh, if you get it surrounded by lava source blocks, but uh, definitely a nice early game passive RF gen. But this guy is, what, four iron to make? And produces, I think, five or six K out. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I think that's probably the easiest for us and the least iron expensive. Osmium, a couple of coppers, a furnace and two wood. That's easy enough. Any chance that works? Yep, cool. And two wood. All right, yep, that is all that takes. Nice. Um, I could just do that. Ooh, I should get this away. Hold on. Let 
Let's take this away from you, you mm, jerk. He won't be bothering us anymore. Put lava there. Put lava in three other spots. Let's go make some slabs real quick. So I'll put a slab there, a slab there, one there, there, there. There. I'm missing a slab. And do I have a bucket? I do have a bucket. We're gonna have to make. You know, actually, can I set a home? Oh no, it's gonna take me forever anyway. Because. Actually, how often can you teleport to your home location? Like, what's the cooldown on that, I wonder? The reason I wonder is, is coming down here is quick enough, I suppose. It's getting back that is longer, because I don't have stairs yet. I can do this, initially, which is fine. I can do that, which is set home. Uh, this will go underneath. And then we will patch that in with some dirt. You can actually waterlog the machine as well, which is kind of cheaty. Kind of cheaty in my opinion, but I think it's fine. Which actually, we could get away with just three lava sources then. Yeah, that might work. This might just work fine. Uh, where are we going? Nope, this way. Boom. And that will spread out that way. Perfect. Oh, right. Um, because we put a lava source on top, that'll be fine. Cool. Okay, so one more block of lava we need. All right. I don't think I've ever had chaining this early in my pack or in my mod, like in any pack. Home, two minutes. Um, spawn, eight minutes. Oh, there's a 10 minute cooldown on, wait, what? I'll have to figure out the exact cooldown, but eight minutes is a long time on spawn, holy crap. What if I can set a home too? <laughs> oh well. And that is making us thirty eight almost 39 a tick so that is plenty um if i just throw these in there oh it has a chance to give it is that maybe what it's doing is it not guaranteed to drop every time oh uh... Okay, so that's less powerful than I thought. Okay, so I probably need to farm the shit out of these beasts then. <laughs> huh. I thought this was going to be like a guarantee, but not the case, huh? 
Oh, it's a 1% chance. But that's all that you're good for. But it's a 1% chance it gives you anything. I see. Okay, okay, okay. So this is not nearly as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Still, though, you can get these pretty early game, and it's not like it's that expensive to just put a bunch of campfires under hives, mark where all your hives are at, and run around. So, okay, okay. Um, I wonder if there's a good way to maximize the amount of hives we can get. What I will do, since I know this is a thing now, so I will just make a bunch of campfires. And because I have shears, we can go out and I can do this to beehives. Why you hurt my friend? I don't think beehives would be this hard to find. There's another one. And because we're always in this area, I'm assuming most of these are loaded. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Well, never mind. These turkeys look like bees to me for a moment. I think it's because their back wings kind of look like bee wings. Nature's Aura. That's another mod we could get into. Wait, what? What is this? What is this? Whoa, what, what do we have here? Oh. It's a witch hut. Interesting. I'll take that. Because, you know, my, my, my loot now. Oh, one of these houses. It was a hobbit hole. Yeah. No way. Hold on. If we had a brewing stand. Huh, we have a brewing stand. <laughs> oh, we have a cleric option. Oh, and we got lucky. Instead of getting a regular zombie, we got one of these dudes. Sweet. I think sometimes you'll have a regular zombie. At least I've had regular zombies down here with the villagers. Like, they'll either be a villager or a zombie on the other side. Because you can. You can convert villagers with zombies. Um, or maybe, is, is it always two villagers? I don't remember. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's either one or the other. Okay, let's... Mm, that. Boom. All right. Let's break this guy out as well. Ooh, actually, no. If I put... If I put the brewing stand in between them... Okay, hold on. Stone hammer. If I shift while breaking... Okay, good. <laughs> yes yes I just need to trade this fool for some things okay sweet um nice that's the message I got when I tried to break the other one just in creative mode so 
Um, that's cool. So you, if you don't break them, other people can get loot. Kind of cool. He's going to take a little while to convert, but we have villagers now. So I do map, waypoint, villager hobbits. And eventually we'll come down and have two clerics, I think. And because we converted this guy, he'll be have better um, he'll have better rates for us, I think. Actually, ideally, we should have had this guy touch that guy, and then convert them both. But I just don't have enough gold to make the apple, basically. Hmm. Or actually, I might have enough gold to make an apple. I don't know. Get some free vines because I can. Man, this place is just crawling with all sorts of good stuff. How long does it take to convert a guy? Is it like minutes? Do we have minutes to wait around here? <laughs> uh, Alright, well that's good. So we have a villager dude who we can convert, well, is being converted. And, um, yeah, sweet. Okay, that's freaking awesome. There's a well as well. Well as well? well. The well as well. The well. Oh, just has ore in it. That's cool. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. So we have another option at getting the water, no, uh, XP bottles. I just have to find a zombie farm so I can farm up enough flesh for them guys to be useful. Okay, so we have a couple of options. I don't know if the 1% chance will ever proc, uh, but getting two bottles of experience, even if it does proc at like 1% chance, is still hella huge because two bottles is all you need to make more bottles of pedestals. So if we can get two, we're, we're set either way. I'm sure the intention is that you can just get experience from the, the combs, but uh, for us, it's actually bigger than that. Uh, all right, well, never mind. I guess my whole plan of, of this bit is a shot. 1% chance, though. Yuck. Yuck. Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. I was kind of hoping we could actually do that. But I see that that's not really an option. Ooh, another egg. Ooh, what's this? More seeds for me. Uh, except I uh, <laughs> maybe didn't need all them seeds. Brown carpet. Um, wheat seeds I really don't need. Just some stone. Uh, you know, I really don't need grass. Alright, cool. Yeah, I guess I will have to wait on more of the hives to be ready. Okay. But hey, not, not a bad day. More seeds. egg more flowers and stuff all right no i'm sorry we were totally gonna work on sorting today and i completely just whiffed right over it um we could do a little sorting though no i actually don't have enough iron yet do i mm. i need to make a way to rename things and an anvil is a really good way to do that but i don't have an anvil I, I do have plenty of gold at this point, but really it's iron that we're lacking. We're lacking massive amounts of iron here. Um, actually, if I do F3H, this is tooltips. But if I look in here and... Okay, so this is telling me all the different tags it's part of. And it says forge dusts, which is good. So what we can do for sorting stuff is that when I want to like smelt our 
ores and stuff. Oh, speaking of which, uh, fan. Let's let's do this. Do I have enough ingot or metal nuggets to make more andesite crap? Iron chunk. I thought I had nuggets around here somewhere. I have those. I do have a gear. There's some more nuggets. Plenty of andesite to go around. Okay. We'll throw that in there. Uh, we need the hammer boy. Again, sorting will be a thing. We'll do it, I swear. Just give it a little chance. Uh, we'll do the fan, the fan. We need more buttons. I really should make a sawmill with pedestals as well. We can get more, more logs out of things, or more, more planks, I should say. Got those. Got the shaft, got the casing. Ah, right, the casing. Okay. Another fan. Good and good. Um, before this episode, I've been moving the lava and, and fire back and forth. But now, now I have both options. <laughs> and I think this will work out just fine. Uh, fire on one side, lava on the other side. Two dropper pedestals, and uh, I think we'll be doing all right. So, uh -huh. not a bad setup. And then the furnace, in case people still want to furnace stuff, but really, we don't need it. We got the droppers. All right, guys, I think that will call it for today. Thanks for stopping by hanging out. We will see you in the next episode, which I swear, I'm going to go mining. We're going to do sorting. So, we'll see you then. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Yeah,